In this lesson, I wanted to go over how we can pull in multiple users. So here we've always been working with this one file. Uh, I know initially we did look at adding additional uh, users. We treated them as objects and combined them into another object. Uh, so let's say we did have uh, some user information, but we had multiple users. So all I'm going to keep here, I'm going to just simplify this so I don't end up with a whole bunch of content here. And I'm going to really simplify this because it's going to actually work within that same format as we had looked at before. Um, and I need to update this as well to be json.json. So pulling back into that JSON file, um, I can actually hide this side menu because we're not going to need access to it. And what I want to do is I want to actually loop through uh, some of this returned content. So I'm going to just do it within this type of format uh, and maybe even we'll keep that console log there so it's always good to be able to see what's being returned uh, from the JSON file. Just a quick check to make sure that everything's good. Uh, we're still returning that first name. And now if we had multiple users here, uh, so I'm not sure if there's any really good examples here. Um, we can see that we don't have any examples quite yet. Oh, they also have that Ajax call here as well. Uh, so here we've got the, the basic JSON format in order to make a request and then we turn it as a JSON object. Uh, so that's uh, as well within um, within uh, Wikipedia here at a AJ AJ. So I need to actually create uh, my own more uh, additional object where I'm going to have multiple users. So I can do it within this type of format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another user. So I'm going to have user one. So this is going to be the, my name and then this is going to be my data. And we separate out all the users comma separated. So user two. And maybe we'll just make uh, four users there. And then user four. So now we need to update some of these names here. Uh, so just pick some random names, Mike, John, Jim, and maybe Jack. And uh, update these last names. So Jones, Jim, Smith's son, and loss or something like that. So that we just have a series of names there uh, and also update their names. So our data is no longer going to be the same. And we can actually take this uh, data just to make sure, uh, again using one of these really cool tools here, just to make sure that our, um, our data is formatted properly. So we see that uh, the strings, um, that we did get some errors here. So strings should be wrapped in double quotes. So that was a mistake there that, uh, so when I'm adding them in. So it's it's the same format as we'd have down here and can't believe I missed that, but uh, sometimes when you're typing quickly uh, and retyping things, uh, you do miss things. So I'm gonna take that and again, a good good uh, demonstration of why it's always a good idea to check things within these validators to make sure that everything is good. Uh, so in fact, it is valid JSON, and I'm gonna just remove out these other ones where I did have errors. Uh, so we can see that everything's being returned back, valid JSON, so this is what we wanna see when we've got our JSON data. Uh, so we also have some ability here to copy it to clipboard. Uh, we could download as a file, um, collapse, and so on. So now that we know that we've got a valid JSON format, we're going to see what actually gets returned when we refresh the page. Uh, so we get undefined return because we still need to identify which user it is that we're accessing. And uh, we can do that when we loop through all the data that's being returned. 
So that we're gonna show you how to do in the upcoming lesson, loop through all these pieces of data and maybe write out all the names that we've got within our JSON file. So it's coming up in the next lesson.